Any kid knows that the Boston Children's Museum is a lot of fun, but the museum wants to make sure it's also educational, and they're pushing that mission forward with the Created by Festival. Liam Martin spoke with the man behind that mission. Well, joining me right now is Neil Temple Carr. He is the Director of Strategic Initiatives at Boston Children's Museum. Neil, so nice to meet you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, nice to meet you as well. Thanks for having me. So tell me about this Created by Festival. Sure. So we first started in 2019 with the Creative by Festival. Before that, Boston Children's Museum was hosting the Boston Maker Fair. Uh, but since 2019, the Creative by Festival has been an October annual celebration of STEAM, and that's STEAM creativity, STEAM innovation, inspiration. Uh, it's family facing, and so it's all about kind of showcasing what the city can do, uh, the creative doers, the makers, the technologists, the artists, musicians, uh, educators. It's really bringing together a, a, a a fun show and tell for the community. So this year it's partly virtual and then there's also an in-person event. How's that working? Yeah, exactly. Uh, virtual is actually where this year we really scaled up. So uh, during Massachusetts STEM week, which is uh, October 18th to 22nd, that's when Boston Children's Museum's Created by Festival is working again with local content providers and educator organizations to provide uh, live events, virtual workshops that are going to broadcast directly into households or classrooms for the elementary school age. So those are going to be exhibitors who are going to offer 30 to 40 minute uh, kind of taste test workshops uh, or live events. Uh, everyone from, uh, you know, iRobot, Autodesk, a Brandeis Maker Lab, Einstein's Workshop. Uh, there's just a whole slew of different activities geared towards elementary school ages. And uh, teachers would just need to sign up for free on our website, and then they can just broadcast from a projector straight to their classroom. And there'll be an in-person event as well? Exactly. The in-person event is what I mentioned before, and that's going to be on October 23rd. Um, for that, you can just get tickets uh, on the museum website. And uh, we do have time ticketing from 9 to noon and 1.30 to 4.30. It is a bit capacity-driven. We're trying to keep it as safe as we can, so make sure you go out there and get your tickets while you can. The Children's Museum has really taken on this STEM education. Why is that? Yeah, in fact, we would say STEAM education and... and, and um, it, it, there are a lot of different reasons, but the main reason is that that's what families want, and that's what uh, we think is a lot of fun, and it's, it's, it's the way where we think we can uh, share our philosophy of learning and, and education with the community, and it's about incorporating uh, all the aspects of science, technology, engineering, art, and math, and understanding that it's very rare that you're just using one of those things, and it's, in fact, more often than not, you're going to be applying the majority of those principles at the same time. So we take that concept and we have applied that into a lot of our programming, our events, and the way we just approach uh, kind of educational endeavors as a museum. This has been a really difficult year and a half, uh, that's to say the least, for museums because of the pandemic. How has the Children's Museum been able to get by during the course of all this? Oh, sure. Uh, I mean, so... One major way is through the support of the community and also with the work that we've done for the community, it's, it's a bit of a give and take where uh, a lot of the work we've been doing throughout the pandemic has been outside the walls of the museum. We've done a lot more in the way of virtual engagement, done a lot more in terms of uh, online programmatic content, uh, as well as working with communities remotely, working with teachers remotely, doing professional development, um, working on grants with other uh, companies and schools and teachers. And um, mostly it's been through uh, a shared understanding that we're going to get through this. And once, once we do, we need to be ready to make sure that we are doing what we can for the community. And so a part of it is just the strength of our mission and, and kind of the conviction of our, of our staff here. Neil Temple Carr with the Boston Children's Museum. It was so nice to meet you. Good luck with the Created by Festival. Likewise, thanks for the opportunity to chat, and I hope to see families there. The virtual festival starts this Monday, and the in-person event is next Saturday. You can learn more at bostonchildrensmuseum.org.